I'm stoked. You stoked? I'm stoked. Just I'm stoked. so Woo! stoked. Get on. Been a while. Uh, just been busy. So um, I've been fishing. Just could not be jiggered to uh, film any of it. But new water today, River X. Never fished the River X. Didn't realise that one of my uh, one of my many tickets grants me access to a stretch of it. Um, so I'm taking it on. I am pretty excited about this. Uh, got a 10 foot rod with a long old leader and a dry fly with a little nymph underneath and I'm going to see if I can get some trout and maybe some grayling. I'd love to get a grayling, been ages. So uh, yeah, here we go. To say I'm excited would be, uh, be, uh, be an, accurate, an accurate statement. I am excited. So here we go. Good luck, me. Um, here we go. What's the pattern? I spook something creeping out through here. Oh, it's pretty clear. A little bit of colour to it. Oh, something. A little bit of colour, but generally looking very nice. Slightly concerned I'm just going to be sending ripples. Um, I feel like I'd like to be a bit further down, but let's go with this for now. See how we get on. Come on, come on. No. Oh, I was sure that was going to get something. Yeah, I think I definitely spooked that fish. Right, so we've got some deep water up the middle, just on the off chance. It's. Um, bright sunshine so I'm not optimistic about a cast straight in the middle of the river but let's see let's see never say never just said never twice then weird weird saying I wonder if that's the point I wonder if there's meant to be some irony in that saying isn't it funny the stuff you think about when you're fishing Anyway, there's a good rise up from where I just cast. And I think that might be a grayling, judging by the nature of the rise. Very, 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 very subtle. Which means it'll definitely be a trout after I've said that. Okay. leader's not straightening out, I'm casting like absolute dog dirt, it's got to be said. Right, let's try again. I've got a wind straight in my face. So I've recently switched to just fishing 5x after just getting sick of losing flies, fishing 6 and 7x. Um, so, oh, that's the cast. Come on, let's have that fish. Come on, buddy, take it. Take it. You got two flies there, both on offer. I'm 
Okay. And so I've just I've got Jeff going. I haven't pushed record. Um, not that much seems to be happening at the moment for me. Oh, there's an eel. Have a look at this. That's great to see. Endangered. There we go. How about that? Lovely stuff. So yeah, they're um no, really endangered in case people don't know. I'm guessing anyone watching this is going to know. Let's face it, hardly anyone's watching this. But um, they go over to the Sargasso Sea to breed. Um, so travel a really long way and then come back and swim up rivers. They're properly endangered. It's illegal to fish for them and lovely to see them. So um, yeah, I am stoked on that. Um, I can also see there's some minnows and bait fish around me. So yeah, this looks like a good bit of the river. So, fingers crossed, I'll get into something soon. Um, and either way, if I don't catch, I'm, uh, I'm going home stoked to, uh, to have seen that. Very nice. fly move then but it was a fish it wasn't a take yeah proper take but I don't think it was the bottom thing is sometimes I know these pond skaters attack the fly <laughs> whether it's a territorial thing from pond skaters I don't know also I've degreased my leader to get it down but it is not getting down the tip it um, and um, it's got to be making a crazy silhouette. I don't know quite why. I try to spit, and that sometimes works. If I can stop stabbing myself with a hook in the fingers. There's a risk with this. I've had a bacterial infection lately, or recently, um, which, uh, or uh, maybe a uh, parasitic infection which has come from the rivers, courtesy of Southwest Water. Thanks, chaps. Um, just add it to my bill. Um, but uh, yeah, so licking the tippet is, certainly has its risks. Maybe I could use my fingers. Listen, you come to this channel for, uh, for the fishing or the intelligence. So, bit of a, well, complete change. Still a clink and dink. Clinky dink. So, um, little midge peeper on the on the point. And then, uh, there you go. And then uh, a kind of a merger midgey thing. Um, floating poly yarn wing. Um, I'm allergic to animal stuff, plus I'm not... Um, not a fan of killing stuff just to tie flies out of. Um, so, uh, oh, bear just did a dump really close to me. Thankfully missed. Bomb and run. Came towards me <laughs> and then stopped last second. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm allergic to animal bits, but also not a fan of killing stuff. So pheasant tails, I tend to get them from roadkill now. Um, and other than that, I don't use any. I could use deer hair. Um, technically but um but, but i'm allergic to them so i just used nothing but synthetics and it's been interesting um i still catch fish with them so anyway there you go don't want to go into a long debate about that if anyone fancies it each to their own and all that jazz anyway so i'm going to try the old spit again i've um i've run out of leader sinkies now so uh, let's see, a lot of people rubbing grass on all sorts but spit. Use my fingers, so hopefully that's a 
I'm not going to catch anything now. And um, yeah, let's see if the change makes a difference. That fish has risen here a couple more times as well. So let's stick the fly on him first. And there we go. Oh, oh well. Change of flies take it work then because he just went for that. Don't know if you saw the rise. Um, wasn't a proper take and one of very big fish. So let's give it another go. He's not going to go for it twice. Unless he's a real idiot. I'll have had my go at that one. They do go twice sometimes, don't they? <coughs> I mean, they are fish at the end of the day, aren't they? Not renowned for their Nobel Prize uh, brain power. Right, anyway, I'm going to keep moving up. I could cover that fish, which I think isn't anything too impressive. There's a fish there, so let's just drift over him. There are a few midges hatching, so I'm, I'm a bit more hopeful now. He's not interested. Let's just stick it over him again. That's not over him, but it's just not in the feed line at all there. Fish rising up there. It's going to get moving. I just want to cover the water. There's so many kind of holes and pockets and stuff now. This is more my kind of terrain as in the kind of stuff that makes me fall in the river which I'm not unknown to do as you will know if you've seen my previous work but uh, yeah so let's just cover this just gonna work work the river in sections I think and then if I see a fish moving cast to it uh, yeah, there we go. Lovely. Uh, come on, you. To the net, please. Oh, drop the net. Oh, you little... <laughs> Clumsy boy. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, well. Okay. Well, at least I know I can catch them here. Gah. It was quite a subtle take on the nymph on that last fish that I lost because the dry never went under the water, it just moved and I just set just to just because I had that feeling but it was a barely a barely a nudge. Oh awful cast. That wind back in my face again but I can uh, I can blame it all I like. If I cast properly then it wouldn't be landing in a lump would it? Yes. Oh, this is a good fish as well. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, it's grayling, is it? No. Yes. Oh, I am so stoked on that. Oh, my God. Ages since I caught one on the dry. Hello, you. Beauty. Whoo. Oh, and the dry's come out. Barbless hex. So occasionally I get people mocking my flies because I'm definitely not a great fly tire because I don't give it the time. I don't enjoy tying flies. I see it as a, I see it as a chore. You know, some people find it therapeutic and that's good. You enjoy it, great. I don't. I see it as a way to um, stock up on tools for the job. So uh, yeah, but there you go. So, Polly Yarn Emerger does the job nicely. Lovely stuff. So, we'll um, get a little look at this fish. Um, I'll get a photo of him as well. I think.
funny enough, and I stopped fishing that bloody slow nonsense. Oh, there's, there's fish rising everywhere. Well, I've just stopped fishing that slow nonsense. And it's like, it's like bloody Billingsgate Market down here. Got the buzz now. So I'm really happy. My first fish on the X was a decent grayling. And I came here really hoping to catch a grayling. So I am very, very pleased today. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful trout, not big, gorgeous. Thanks, buddy. Well, I know I said I didn't want to get nymphing, but nymphing is really working here. So that's two, two fish in the last four drifts, I guess. Um, put squirmy on the point and got a trout. So um, not a big one, but my first X one. So that's two grayling and a, um, and a trout from the River X on my first go. See if I can get some more massive sea trout jumped down there just now i haven't really got it in me to go down and try and get him but big fish I'm stoked. You stoked? I'm stoked. Just I'm so stoked. Stoked. 